Defensive coordinator, offensive coordinator, matched up two head coaches. Burgess is the running back for Arizona State, but Carpenter will have none of the run game. High, incomplete. Burgess, the intended receiver, circling out of the backfield. Got hit just as he let it go, and that's why that play went high. That throw went high because he could feel it and couldn't step in to that throw. Shiano happy with that pressure. The only way to stop him is with pressure. Carpenter banged up. There you see Carnahan, number 52, limping up to the line. He's playing with a foot and a hand injury there at right tackle. Under fire from this defensive front. Burgess could not slip free. And that was Devron Thompson. An interesting story. His father, Jeff Joseph, he played linebacker for Arizona State in the 87 Rose Bowl. And his mom now lives back east, and the young man attended Rutgers. But his dad is here tonight. And uh, he was on that team, that John Cooper team, I believe it was, that beat Michigan in the Rose Bowl. And uh, how ironic that was. John then, of course, became the Ohio State head coach after that. And then he had nothing but trouble trying to beat Michigan. So go figure. Third down. Carpenter complete for the first down. And Zach Miller, the sophomore tight end, makes another catch. The truth is where you go when you want one. Rudy Carpenter has a lot of faith. Zach Miller struggled with ankle injury, shoulder injury when he's healthy. He's one of the finest tight ends in the country, and you saw Carpenter go right to him. Look for Derek Hagan now to go to get this football. Been a little bit quiet tonight, but if he wants to go throw the ball to Hagan, he will be open. Hagan has four catches, Gary, for 85 yards. Carrying the running back, Shiano barking out instructions from that sideline. Here's Herring. And no word. Down to the 40 yard line. Ryan Neal and Westerman making the stop for the Knights. It's a little different when you watch an offensive coordinator, how calm he stays, calling plays, cerebral, one step ahead. You watch a defensive coordinator, it's all body language, trying to get his guys fired up. It's just a contrast in how you call plays as an offensive guy or as a defensive coordinator. Greg told us he'd like to stay as defensive coordinator. He likes staying close to the players. Uh, part of why he enjoys coaching. Fake by Carpenter, going to roll to the right and take off. Diving. Near midfield and for that first down marker, got it. You'll see the spot right there. And when he runs over, he obviously does not see the yellow line that we see on TV, but they put that sash, that red little thing on the sideline opposite the down markers, so as you're coming out of bounds, you can see the first down marker on the opposite side. It should get him. What would you call that, Brent? I called it a sash. I don't think technically that's what it is. <laughs> what is that? It worked for me. <laughs> what would you call that? A little marker down there. A little there. marker. That's <laughs> yeah, Northwestern. Yeah, marker, little... okay. <laughs> First down and 10. There's that screen being set to Burgess, and he runs behind Conahan, cuts back, slips a tackle, and Burgess is to the 27-yard line, and Shiano unhappy about Burgess getting free of his defense. That's that slip screen, and you got to give it to Andrew Carnahan. This guy is limping, limping, struggling with two hands that are hurting, and they call a slip screen to his side, and he's running down the field. Didn't you tell me he was a woodworker? A woodworker he is, and, you know, I, the way he's been struggling through this football game and playing with all those injuries, he's going to say, you mean all I got is a lousy watch from this game for all this thing? <laughs> <laughs> First I gotta get more to watch. Shiano yelling pass out. Read it perfectly. Penalty flag on the play. Hagan touchdown, but there's a flag. And it's thrown back in that holding area. So hang on, everybody. This one could be coming back. Yep. Carpenter's really lucky that this ball wasn't intercepted. He underthrew it, and Courtney Green should have picked this football off. Number 62 on the offense. Ten yards from the previous spot. Repeat first down. That's uh, Brandon Rudd, their uh, fine uh, guard, young man from Hawaii. Uh, he would be the left guard right there. 
Let's see. He pulls him down. He falls down. He pulls him down in the play. That's an easy call. Look at. I thought this ball could have been intercepted, and Green just couldn't quite get there. The ball was a little underthrown, but Hagens again uses his body to shield the football. Yes, he does. Well, now it's first and twenty. Arizona State trails it by two. 10-23 to go on the inside bowl. Perry trying to stretch the D. And he's going to get thrown for a big loss. Geralt, the safety, number 43, cleaning up for Shiano. Zach Miller's down. There are Phenom tight end, who struggled all year with injuries, went down on that play. Remember, he's had ankle and shoulder problems all year. These numbers for the night are good, Gary. Yes, they are. He, he's a fabulous. Oh, they're going to the knee. Oh, he looks okay. See, you touch a guy's knee, he gets right back up. Don't be touching my knees. <laughs> Those are my money knees. <laughs> Here he comes. Now, I've heard this said from some quarterbacks. I've never really experienced this myself. When you get backed up like this, you go, good. More chances to get more yards. <laughs> Guys like Fouts used to say that. You know, I used to say, oh, no. <laughs> There's a call for you right now during this timeout. I think it's Fouts. Who wants to talk to you about that timeout? ESPN College Football, the Insight Bowl, is brought to you by Insight, provider of IT solutions for the way you work. And in part by the all-new 2006 Jeep Commander, the most capable seven-passenger 4x4. It's your world. Take command. And the United States Army, an army of one. Second down and 25 for Arizona State, trailing it 33-31. 10 minutes and 8 seconds left in regulation here in the inside bowl in Phoenix. Got an open receiver. Battle for the ball. Touchdown. Great job by Matt Miller to pull it away on the goal line for the score. He was tied up with Geralt and he won it. It looks like uh, Dirk is going to go for two. Deep ball again by Rudy Carpenter. He reads it. It's zone coverage. Gets behind the safety. It's underthrown. But you go up and catch it and fall into the end zone. Miller, his second touchdown. He had three of them against Washington. You can see there's just plays all over the field for Arizona State. They will go for two. Leading it, 37-33. Burgess is the running back. Back in the hands of Brent.